Orion said that he wants to build a bridge with Lauren. Yeah, I look forward to him building a bridge too. Keep it 100, Bill. To men, stop playing. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 17, episode number 17. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please send us your comments. I know you're tired of Lauren and Orion, and we unfortunately are right there with you. But here we go. Both of them are at the retreat, and they're having dinner. Wow. Um, well, we discussed that last week. Yeah, but we can discuss it again this week. It's almost like they're props for the rest of us. They are props. They have allowed themselves to be props. Michael, who is now there with Chloe, asks them, well, what is their perspective? How are their journeys going? And Orion is the first one to chirp up. To huh? chirp up. He said their marriage ended after 10 days. They had to deal with a lot of different things during the honeymoon. Lauren and him have now got to a place where she had lived. What city is that? He looked at her while he's talking and said, well, I don't know if Lauren has anything to say. And Lauren's eyes are bulging through her head and she's staring directly across from him at Austin. She's not even looking at him. One. And she, she picks up a glass of water and she drinks as he asks her if she had anything to share. And one of the reasons why she may have responded that way was because apparently Orion is adept at, you know, telling what he would like to see, you know, as it relates to them moving forward as divorcees is something that he hasn't talked to her about right. prior to. So he puts her on the spot and she just finds that the whole thing is fake. After that interaction where I know he felt embarrassed, particularly when he asked her a question and she drank some water, he asked her whether she wanted to share and she said, no, I'll drink some wine. So sitting by herself, of course it's a setup, and he asked her if he could sit and have a conversation with her. Right, because uh, presumably he's been missing them having conversations. Yes, that's what he said. He's been missing their friendship. Dude, you guys will marry 10 days. Yeah. Day three, they were arguing about what she said. So what, the other, and, what connections did they possibly have? And the other remaining seven, he spent having a toot with her about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, okay, and not really, not really being honest with himself about why he had a toot. So how, where did this connection come from? His mind. Remember, he lives on Front Street. He said that it's not fair for him to, to ask her to, to be a partner because he, he claimed that they can have conversations with the group and partner in the conversation. Partnership and exercises, this, right? This dude is so presumptuous. He and wants to do something and he assumes that she is on board to do that foolishness with him. Because they were married, not are married, because they were married. And she tells him, well, you didn't offer me a partnership in our marriage. You are the one who decided to get divorced without me having any say so in that decision. So why you want a partnership now? It seems like it's a fake one. You don't try to talk or communicate with me. You pull me in when you're in front of the group or and, the camera. And speak on my behalf. Right. So he claimed that, oh, um, he's sorry he did that, but because, of course, she starts crying. The real reason is that he did not want to say anything wrong that will cause the conversation to go sideways. Okay, sure, you're right, man. Like Chuck Brown used to say, the late, great Chuck Brown, godfather, go-go, sure, you're right. So then he asked her, well, what do you want to do? Can we do do this friendship stuff. And she said, I really don't know what to tell you because we are now divorced. Lauren arranged Leslie, who is the yoga teacher, to come through. Yes. Leslie's question after they went through the session was compassion. How do you show compassion? Orion says, well, I show compassion by uh, towards uh, towards Lauren. 
And I was scratching my ear like, oh my goodness. It's almost like he thinks he he's being um, the husband that he maybe didn't give himself the opportunity to be. Husbands and wives speak for each other. Why? That's not Why? the situation with them. Why? Lauren says she expresses compassion by being compassionate to herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way that she can share it. Mm -hmm. And then he says that... Um, you know, he wants to be able to express compassion to Lauren and that he ha he will start showing up in a genuine way, trying to connect with her in a genuine way. So he admitted that he, he had be not... Fake. He has been fake in the past. Too late, bro. Now we see them in a field. And of course, another conversation For about what? the very same thing. For what? He asked her, well, can we connect in a couple of days? And she said, well, let me handle that. Let me roll with that. And I will decide whether I contact you or not. We'll see. We'll see. And I liked her answer. You are going to control whether you call him or if you call him at all. Right, because in front of the cameras, he's been all about it. But uh, behind, away from the cameras or behind the cameras? He ain't been about nothing. And then she made nothing. sure to tell him that he keeps intentional friends and she doesn't feel that way towards him. He's not showing up to me as somebody who has been uh, mature in a real sense. He's been uh, faking. He didn't understand. Maybe he didn't want to understand that all the couples were going through challenges and what he was dealing with was no more, no less than what everybody else is dealing with. He definitely did not understand the assignment, the marital assignment. And he chose to quickly shut it down against the advice of quite a few of the experts who knew better. So now he looks a kind of way. So he's trying to clean that up. But in, in trying to clean it up, he comes across as being phony and immature and not someone any woman would want to deal with. If they have anything else with Lauren and Orion, we're going to have to do a hard pass. I, I rather not go in on them. I do like right. into water and start drinking because I have nothing really to add to this conversation that has not already been said. And don't live on front street, y'all.